in Melbourne on the 23rd of July. Maybe you should head over and support this uh, lady. She's an independent journalist from Melbourne during the pandemic. Um, I think it's important for people to stand up against the system and also stand up for people's rights and freedom of expression to report on matters within our communities. The legal system deter you from standing up for yourself because you don't know the legal jargons and you don't know the legal language. And that's all political language, really. If you know your story and you know your story in and out and you have evidence for it, use it, stand up and speak because no one knows your story better than you. There are more and more independent journalism these days and there's a reason for that. We no longer believe our media outlets are major news channels because they're buyers. They're being paid by huge corporations behind the scenes, including their own corporations, to silence the voices or to silence what actually happens within our communities and globally. So when you do come across independent journalism that are in need and they need your support, show up. It's just one day of your time. Sometimes the money isn't required. It's just someone to stand by them, to guide them and help them, or just sit silently next to them. Now she also mentions that she's tried to contact uh, members of her parliament in Victoria to raise the, the issue and hopefully have the matter solved rather than going to court. Now I am not surprised that nothing has been done. Most of these members that are in parliament or your MPs are weak and they do not represent their constituents or the people of their state. So when you do come across a good one, make sure that you do give them a bell on your social media page and let people know that they're reliable and that they do stand for the people. So, you know, I've come across this as well, but I no longer give any senator in any state any plugs because they're useless. But if I was to stand, I would be speaking up. On July 23rd, the Victorian government and police are on trial. Over three years ago, Victoria Police unlawfully arrested me as an independent journalist three times in one day. Your world is in a way to just treat the people and the police. During the second arrest, I was put in the back of a police van for 45 minutes. I was distraught and crying but they didn't care. A recent development has forced me to represent myself. You see, I just can't bear being silent while someone else speaks for me. I know my story inside and out. I'm passionate about it, and I understand my motivations better than anyone else could. I don't know the legal lingo or procedure, but hey, I'll do my best, and the rest is out of my hands. You know the story about David and Goliath, I don't need to tell you which one I am in that scenario. Please come to the County Court of Victoria on the 23rd of July. I've already heard about buses coming from rural areas and some people are even flying in just for the day. I desperately need your presence there to show the judge, the mainstream media and anyone else watching that I am not alone. Before this incident in October 2020, I had never been arrested or in trouble before. In fact, Victoria Police had helped me several times when I was a victim. I respected them. I appreciated them. But when I started speaking against the mainstream narrative, I found myself being targeted, harassed, and constantly intimidated by the very people I used to see as my protectors. Victoria Police should not be allowed to treat independent journalists like criminals. And if anything like COVID ever happens again in Victoria or Australia, independent journalists like me need to feel safe to do our job. I want the relationship between the people and the police to mend, but it can't without accountability and meaningful action. If they refuse to take responsibility on their own, we're only left with two choices, either appeal to parliament to make changes or win in court. And we've tried appealing to Parliament, they ignored us. So court is our only option for people like me and Nick Patterson to force accountability. This is not what we want to be doing. 
We didn't ask for this, but we've been left with no other option. So, July 23rd in the County Court of Victoria. All the details are in the description of the video. I am really nervous, and that's an understatement. In fact, I don't think I've ever been so nervous. The stakes are really high. If I lose, I could be up for a $300,000 cost order against me. So your prayer and presence is so much more important than you could possibly imagine. And the way I see it, with my freedom family, my biological family, and God by my side, what could go wrong? See you July 23rd.